I have to say that everything else, I can't complain about it. I got the bang hanger, the Reese wraps. Have you ever been waiting on a product to come and completely change the way you set up your gear? If so, this video is definitely going to make you rethink how you run your gear. I like to look into products bad or not and see if they're worth spending your money on especially when we're looking at it from a duty standpoint, military, law enforcement, and your responsible citizen who has to pay for this stuff sometimes out of their own pocket. So I personally wanna know and run gear that I feel fits the needs of what I'm doing. Whatever mission I'm performing, whatever job function I'm performing, I wanna know that it's gonna hold up it's going to do its job and last, especially last because of the money that you put into it, the time you put into wearing this equipment, using it. It's got to, it's got to bring a lot of value for the buck. So I personally feel like this is worth checking out. The Guardian Warrior Solutions and everything else that I'm doing in this video is definitely worth a fair shake. So make sure you stay for the review. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and comment below. Thank you for the support, and let's get into it. Tegris is an innovative thermoplastic composite fabric engineered for unmatched performance in high-risk situations. Even under harsh situations, it maintains outstanding impact resistance, making it a great choice for unpredictable environments. Tegris has the ability to provide superior protection without adding unnecessary weight. Its low-density thermoplastics enable significant weight reduction which is invaluable for those in law enforcement and the military where mobility and agility is essential. Tegris also offers the stiffness needed for various tactical and military applications, seamlessly enhancing gear and equipment, improving their structural integrity and performance. Hey, what's going on guys? Angry Sarge back with the next video in this series to talk about the Guardian Warrior solutions and how I'm going to set up to fit my Safari Land QLS holsters and the modified Alien Gear Rapid Force holster. But I'm doing two. That's the surprise. So the surprise is I'm doing two. I'm doing one for a duty holster one for a range setup, which is gonna have a leg strap and all that stuff. But I've got some special things that I'm gonna put on these, which I'll show here in a little bit. But I just wanted to talk real quick and kinda get all these shiny stuff because they're gonna reflect the light and everything. So the QLS receiver plates are ready to be mounted but we're going to do a couple things before we mount these so stick those to the side you got a leg strap of course and um in here as well as these two bang hangers got two like i said we're going to make two but this is one cool thing that just came in that i'm pretty excited about but these are the Reese wraps for the bang hanger. So I can turn around and make them black instead of being gray. So that way they kind of match my gear, but I got two of them for the different holsters. But the, the awesome thing about it is that they come in a multitude of colors. I mean, there's not like a whole, whole bunch of them, but there's a few colors to choose from like Multicam, Ranger Green, um, and a few other items as well as I got some more little screw parts I think I got two I believe maybe that's the two and one 
So that's that's one thing. But this right here is the piece de la resistance, or however we're gonna say it, okay? Um, this right here is something that I found that is gonna make the drop leg part of it even better. And uh, I would show you the front, but it has my, my personal information on there. And I'm not gonna show that, but as soon as I can get this thing open, I'll get it pulled out and show you that it's going to be something really cool, really unique, and it's going to make it better. So these right here are what they call the Swivla, and it's made by Edgar Sherman Designs and comes with a cool sticker. Nothing crazy, but this part right here is gonna make it to where it all, it will articulate. And I'll add some video and stuff like that down showing how this works. And then I'll show it myself so you can see it, but it's just a piece of Tegris that hooks in. You can hook the leg strap and now you've got something that can articulate turn move i know i'm doing it wrong but maybe this is better so this will actually help with the leg strap there are things out there that do this but this is the only tegris one that i found so this will be cool it's going to be a fun setup and i'm excited to put all this stuff together on video show you how it's done or how not to do it whichever way we come up with and we'll go from there and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the duty belt configuration first and then we'll move over to the drop leg and kind of progress to the video putting on the um, reese wraps and the swivel as well leg strap so this this is going to be fun the qls receiver plates it's going to be a fun series and this video especially is going to be fun because it's going to be firsthand just us doing it together so we'll be right back with all this stuff all right we're back with assembling the bang hanger for duty so this is the duty one this is all we need tool wise so far this is all i've seen that i needed hopefully i, I don't need any more but if i do i'll kind of pause and come back to it but for right now i got a flat tip a phillips the reese wraps the guardian warrior solutions bang hanger which you need all those tools for and the qls plate so all right let's move stuff out of the way first we're going to work on the bang hanger and the reese wrap put all this together Got an alcohol swab so you can wipe it down. That way it'll stick and all that stuff. It's a clean, sterile area, I guess. So this video is not too long. All right, we got that. I'll peel this bad boy. I guess you can just peel it off. My first time, so bear with me, guys. All right, yep, just peel it off. Sucks. There we go. Now let's move. 
board. Yeah, hopefully this is all getting on camera. All right. Oh, this thing's sticky. It's crazy. All right. So let's try to line this up as best we can. This thing, just so you know, this thing is really sticky. So it's going to be interesting to try not to mess this thing up. See, it's sticking to my hand, my fingers. Oh yeah, this is craziness right now. I'm trying to make sure that it goes on there correct. The biggest thing is making sure it all lines up. to look funny yeah see sorry I'm sure you can't see I got a better view of it than you do since you're over the top but okay so I mean it's kind of lined up the holes are in there this is definitely bit harder than I thought it was going to be because of how tacky it is. I mean, it's a good thing. I'm not going to complain about that. I'm glad it's tacky. It's going to stick. Yeah. Smooth it out. Punch all this stuff down. Okay. It's not perfect, but it looks good. Looks on there. Okay, that's it. Let's put this to the side. All right, so we have the rest of the bang hanger, which as of right now, we don't need the washers and stuff because that's gonna be mounted onto the belt here shortly, but Next thing we need is the QLS plate. Get all this stuff out. All the little things in here. And I think based on this, we're gonna be using the smaller screws. So, we use those. some extras comes with a allen key definitely need to use that put the rest of these in a bag so i'll tell you this my suggestion is you always lock tight everything however i want to put this on here so you can see how it's done and then if i need to fine tune it i don't have to worry about lock tight once I got it fine-tuned, if I need to can it, either way, because I'm going to have it straight up and down at first. But if I need to can it just a little bit or whatever, then once I've got it set where I like it, I'll take one screw out, of out at a time, put some Loctite on it, and throw it back in. So, pretty simple. So, we have all of these pieces I'm gonna stick this spacer in there line it up so it's even and as of right now I like I said I'm gonna put it in there straight up and down because I don't need it canted or anything I need to see what I got first 
and then go from there. So, we'll kind of do this one at a time. Just slap one of these in there. You know, lock in on the bottom. Get you a little small screw. adjust it make sure the holes line up there we go much better okay so I'm looking at it I know you see me going like this but I'm looking at it and it's going in there pretty straight so um, yeah this is a smaller one that's weird There we go. Pop that out. And grab. That was really weird. Need a bigger one of these, not the smaller one. There we go. Pop one in. Same thing. See, doing this together and I'm messing it up. But you get to be here for the ride. Same thing as the bottom one, just kind of lock it in. You don't have to go real tight. You just want to make sure that you have just a little bit of wiggle room so you can get the other one in. And then once you got all three on there, then you can tighten it down. But like I said, if you're going to make any adjustments, don't use Loctite. Get this together. Throw it on a belt. If you don't like the draw, cant it just a little bit to where you like it, or you know, negative cant, positive cant, whichever, forward, backward, however you want to say it. But fine tune it to make sure that it fits you. And then once you got it, take one out at a time, one screw out at a time, and lock tight it. Or you can loosen it up, put a little drop down the hole. It's up to you, however you want to do it. Now I'm just kind of tightening it down, make sure it's good to go. there okay and that's what it looks like test it out holster fits on there good locks in it's a little just a little tight in there and that's because this one's sticking up just a little bit Tighten it a little more. Bring that down just a little bit more. Lock it into place. Okay. All right. Much better. Yep. There we 
you go. Okay. And that's it for the, the duty side as far as putting it together, what you're going to do to it and all that. So like I said, when I get it hung on a belt, which I'll hang it on the belt and mount it so everybody can see how that works. But once I get it mounted, then I can do all my fine tune adjustments. But straight up and down, it should be fine. If I do anything, I might pull it back maybe a notch or maybe forward a notch. But I think straight up and down, it should be fine. That's how I'm running most of my stuff, but we'll see. All right, so now we're gonna mount it to a belt. This is just a belt that I was wearing at my old job. I don't wear it on my new job because like I said, I'm not a, if I can get away from basket weave, I want to get away from basket weave. But I just want to show you what it looks like. I will be mounting this onto my duty belt and using this holster for duty. So it's going to happen. This is just to show you, hey, this is how you do it and all that stuff so I can help you out. But anyhow, you just stick it on here. It's got two different slots. So you're, you know, you have the option when you run it on Molly, which the, this seems like it's, that's what it's really made for. And that's cool, but it can also hang on a duty belt as well. So you just want to make sure you got it in there, lined up. I think my only fear, which I don't know yet, we'll see, will be, are the screws long enough? That's gonna be the real question. So, all right, let's get them out, dump them out. Get our tools. Okay, so what it comes with are three screws, the end caps, three washers, and three spacers. So you can use all those. I don't know. I may need to use it. We'll kind of have to see what's going on with this to determine if I can or not. And if I can, that's what we're going to use. So let's pop this down, take a look. All right. So the back one goes in the back, just in case you're wondering. And you can stick the spacer on there. To hold it into place it's a smart thing to do So we're gonna do this one at a time. I think that's gonna be the smart play. So we'll stick the screw inside the washer. And you have this to kind of keep it from going through. And I'm sorry, this is gonna be very painful to do. So I'm gonna apologize in advance, like I always do, but yeah, my belt is pretty thick so you gotta get it in there yeah this was what i was afraid of all right let's see if i can get it to connect And 
then the same thing, you, you want to throw Loctite on stuff. Right now, I just want to get this thing connected. So, That's through, it's cleared it. Problem is, is I can't get it to squeeze tight enough to go in there. Let's see, I may have gotten it. Nope, so close. All right, hey, so I had to do some of this offline because my camera was having issues, but I just wanted to keep you in the loop. Um, I was able to get it mounted the problem that I had was one of the last screws I was having a hard time getting hooked up, but I finally got it. Um, I'll say that you always want to Loctite everything. I know I said that earlier in the video, but Loctite stuff, make sure it's on there good. Um, the other thing I would say is this to me is definitely not made for a duty belt or at least it is if it is it's a pain in the rear to get on there i'm not gonna lie to you i'll be honest with you um, i do like the product and i'm excited to use it however when we come back and we do the leg strap i don't see myself taking this off i'll probably just lock tight in place and figure out what i want to do with my duty belt see if the other one will fit with no issues and if it does it does if it doesn't then i'll look at a new belt for work since i purchased my own gear so with that i just want to say i like it it's pretty stiff look at that you can bend it yes because it's tagus but pretty thick with the two you have that backer in there that helps stiffen it up so i think this is going to be awesome i'm excited about it and when we come back we'll be putting together the drop leg and showing how that works all right so we have our bang hanger we've got our qls adapter we've got the reese wrap set up now to make this a drop leg we need the edgar sherman designs swivla and we need the leg strap so let's open this thing up and get ready to mod it if i can all right here we go all right so when you get this it's gonna come with two pieces, kind of like the bang hanger, right? You can make it as thin or as stiff as you want. Me personally, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it two piece thick. And that's how I'm gonna do it. Cause I wanna make sure that it's stiff and able to do what it's supposed to do. So, all right. Now, if you've already got one set up, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is undo the bottom. I'm trying to get this in camera. So undo this, and that's where you're gonna stick your swivel at. We'll undo that, we'll raise this bad boy up. stick this thing in there both pieces like so and then we'll go ahead and put it back down screw it tight or it's gonna pop out 
which is how it goes sometimes. So. All right. Now let's see if it swivels. And it does. There we go. Just needed a little bit of motivation. That's it. All right, we're back with my final thoughts. Um, I'm gonna go cons again, and I only found one. So the one that I found that I was having issues with was actually mounting this to the duty belt. It was very painful um, until I figured it out, and then I understood it. I mean, this this belt is a little thick, so with the Velcro on the back side. So it's, uh, yeah, it was gonna have some issues, but I gotta say, once it was mounted, it wasn't bad. But if that's the only con I'm gonna have about this, I'm not gonna be upset with the mounting process. Maybe that's something that needed to be worked out kink-wise, or maybe have a, a duty belt ready that's for thicker belts. Um, it's something that I can talk about with Guardian Warrior Solutions. All right, so I want to say something to kind of clear up um, something that I did a video on when I was talking about this uh, being such a pain in the rear to get on. As you can see, it's like almost at the edge of it. So it's understandable why. This is a two and a quarter inch uh, duty belt. So the bang hanger is, it works with it. It just, you know, my opinion, a little bit longer. And I think it'd be good to go, but that's just my personal opinion. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure he'll look at it and maybe see how plausible it is and things like that. Cause he seems like a good guy, but I talked to him over at Guardian Warrior Solutions and we talked about it and he one of the things that he wanted me to mention was that he recommends if you're going to do duty carry to use the stiffener the other piece so use the second piece which i'm going to recommend that you do anyway if you're watching this video regardless uh, it just to me it's going to make sense if you want something to last and be stronger especially when you're doing your draws and stuff like that. Will it work on a single? Yes, it'll work. But we want to make sure that it lasts a long time. So having this extra piece on there is, is not a bad thing. So like I said, this you can see it. It's like right at the cusp of the bottom of the hole. So it's... Uh, it's definitely a tight one but I got it on there it's good to go and it's gonna stay so I'm not too worried about it but I just wanted to bring it to your attention in this video so you had a good understanding of what the issue was and it's just the fact that you know this is just a little tight but I have to say that everything else I can't complain about it. 
I got the bang hanger, the Reese wraps, the droplet or the leg strap, should I say, uh, from Guardian Warrior Solutions. So, I mean, I got to say the shipping was fast and I got it pretty quick. So I got it within a week or less, maybe a little bit less than a week. So that's always a great thing when you're wanting to put together some duty gear to, to run at work or whatever you're, whatever you're doing. So, um, the, as well as the, the swivel. So the swivel came in fast as well. And I think having, you know, something that's lightweight, that's sturdy on all areas. It's, it's sturdy, definitely lightweight. It articulates so I can be more comfortable while I'm at work and not have a rubber band basically or elastic band around my leg just moving up and down this kind of sets it in in that one place and that's where it stays so I mean I can't I can't argue with this product you got a multitude of things that you can mount so you can mount the safari lane qls you can put the alien gear and their quick disconnect i'm sure you can put the blackhawk um, the rti just a multitude of stuff that you can mount onto this product which then in turn makes it yours so you set it up the way you want it and that's how i like to do stuff i like to have stuff set up and and made to be adaptable to what I need it to be. So that definitely gets a, a big plus in my books as far as a product. So I'm happy with it. And I'll say this, you know, when you're looking at stuff, you want adaptability. You want it to be able to do the things that you needed to do when you needed to do it. And yeah, we don't know much about holsters, but I'll tell you this, having worn a UBL for years and then going to wear something that's thin and not molded around and pushing into my, my hip, this is going to be a game changer for me. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then, you know, you add, you add in the cool holster and you got you got yourself a nice setup so that's what i have to say is um, don't be afraid to try something new this was new to me i wanted to see it firsthand i didn't ask for them to send me a product i just bought it i try it out that's normally what i do and that's why i have a ton of stuff that i probably need to get rid of that i don't need to keep anymore because i go out and i buy a product and i test it and if i like it it stays in my my gear box and if I don't like it it goes in another box and just sits there so uh, I think I think this is definitely something that if you're like me your military law enforcement uh, regular citizen you want to go to the range you want to have something comfortable I think this is the setup so take my word on it or don't and just try it out yourself I mean, you can't go wrong. And I'll tell you that, I don't think this is wasted money. I'll just say that. There are some things that I run into that are gimmicks that I feel like we waste our money on. And I can say that this is definitely not one of them. So on that, let's finish this out. And I want to say thank you because I know the, the couple of you stuck around and watched the whole thing in its entirety, and I'm grateful for that, and I'll always be grateful for your support, your comments, your likes, your shares, um, but if you're not and you're new, make sure you sub up, hit the notification icon, and stick around. I've got other stuff coming. Just it doesn't hurt to get a different perspective. I'll say that. Okay, I'm not the end all be all guy, but it doesn't hurt to get a different perspective. There's a lot of people out there doing gear reviews or, you know, showing gear and talking about it. 
and some of them really have some good points so there's some dudes that i follow that i'm like hey okay i didn't think about it like that but I, i'm tracking now so it's definitely worth it but on that again because <laughs> i say on that a lot um thank you thank you so much for being here thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about this product and this series that's going on. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully this is the, the series that a lot of people get some benefit from. They learn something and I'll be happy with that, honestly. So, but thank you again and we'll see you on the next one.